Cheryl and I can't come to the phone right now. We're out looking for our next adventure. At the sound of the tone, leave a message and we'll get back to you just as soon as we can. Well, for our next adventure, we decided to brave the Sonora Pass on our way to Bridgeport Lake on the Highway 395 and eventually ending up in Bodie, the beautiful ghost town. On our way up 108, yay! It was 40 years ago since I went to the top where Dardanelle is, a beautiful little town that is no more because of the fires that raged through a few years ago. But it's coming back and it's still beautiful. I'm looking forward to going down the other side of 108. On the way up the Sonora Pass, there are so many places to camp along the river. Um, we, we checked them all out. We found this beautiful little space along the river. Okay, this is our shower setup. We use a five gallon solar shower bag, put it out in the afternoon on a nice rock in the sun, and we take the best shower ever. Here we are charting our next course, where we're going to go. It's always a good idea to bring a paper map because your phone just doesn't always work. Rarely works, you mean. It's so fun to be outside showering, outside eating, outside cooking. It's just so much better doing everything outside where it all belongs. The river was abundant in water, beautiful as always, and a great place to cool off. Look at how green everything is. It's so beautiful. This may be one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to in California. The Sonora Pass, it almost rivals Yellowstone in some ways. I agree. Look at that. What views we had. Ah. Oh. And because it's such a steep pass, there isn't a lot of traffic up here. And it's kind of nice because it's a little bit of a challenge to get over this pass. Finally, we come down to Bridgeport. Cute little town right next to the lake. We found this little RV park. We weren't sure what to expect, but it turned out to be really nice. People were so nice here. We had a view of the lake out the back of the RV. The bathrooms were wonderful. Thank you so much, Paradise Shores. And we just had a great time here. It was beautiful weather. Loved our little spot. The lake was really cool. Not a lot of people again, which is kind of how we like it. <laughs> Our yeah, so I can do that. traditional game of dominoes. <laughs> Great way to unwind. A little wine in those cups. <laughs> this is our cozy bed. So for all the people that ask us, Where's the bed? <laughs> Here's the bed. Here's the bed. <laughs> and we absolutely love it. It's so cozy up here yeah. and it folds up when out we're doing other way. things with it. Gets out of our way. Or we can leave it down so we have a place to nap during the day or whatever. Really, one of my favorite things about this. So, yeah, so This is my favorite part of it. The bed and a heater when it's cold. There's many things, but this this is my favorite. I have a bed, nice and comfy. I get to go night night. Okay. Good night. So we'll see you guys in the morning. 
Now, today we decided it was a kayak day. And the water was literally like glass. It was almost spooky. It was pretty clear. It was beautiful. Here we managed to find a couple of stragglers on the far side of the lake. Did you guys go all the way to the other side? They had a talking Almost. too. Their mother was a yeah. little upset. They took off without life jackets. <laughs> so Grammy and Grandpappy said, get back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've been wanting to come here for as long as I can remember. And for one reason or another, could never make it because of the weather or what have you. But the trip to Bodie nowadays, it's a state park. It's got a nice road in with just a, the last few miles dirt, but it's really a nice road. Again, it's a great little drive, and I was so excited to see this place. All cars can make it in. We saw, we saw all passenger cars, everything. So go to Bodie if you're in the area. There's the last part, a couple miles, huh? Yep. Of dirt road. And there it is. This place, it's definitely has a, a haunting feel to it, but in a good way. A lot of buildings are standing, but a fire swept through this town twice. So it took out a lot of structures, but what is still standing is marvelous. I mean, it's, look at this, the church. A lot of the buildings have the furnishings that were in the home when it was abandoned and they're all left intact so you can kind of you can kind of get an idea of what life was like here kind of reminds me of the first time i saw pictures of the titanic on the bottom of the ocean and you could see a chair or a hairbrush or a shoe just remains of a different time that's how bodhi is Yeah, you could just picture people sitting around eating. It, it, it was a great ghost town. They've really preserved it well. Is that the old hotel? It's kind of... Look at this. This is an old Shell gas station <laughs> from the 20s. Bodie remained a city, I believe, until 1946 but it was taken over by a caretaker until it became a state park. It's amazing, when you look at a bar on, in a movie, it's always these big buildings, but in real, real life, a bar was no bigger than a kitchen. And they were, everything was super small. Most of the buildings still had all the old Fireplaces, wood burning stoves. Here's the bank. Check out, check out this old bank vault. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful it was. Mm -hmm. A lot of history here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make this video a history lesson. You can find out all you want online. I'm just giving you a view of how it made me feel. And here's where all the townspeople were buried. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.